It's not something you see on my uh, feed every day, but I saw something that was really interesting and I just, sometimes with something interesting, I wanna talk about it. So there's a study that shows this very common over-the-counter allergy medicine, uh, Astapro or Azelastine, may help prevent COVID. So they did a study where they had people spray this in their nose and then uh, they looked to see what the rate of COVID infection was. And it was a third of people who didn't have this. So what made them think about that? So somebody had looked at this molecule and they think that it has broad antiviral properties. It may prevent other viruses such as the common cold, the flu. Uh, so it's just something interesting that I saw, but it made me think about off-label use. So what that is, is that's where a medicine is approved for one thing and we discover that it works for something else. That's called off-label use, off-label prescribing. And in dermatology, we do that all the time. So minoxidil originally started as a blood pressure medicine. Now we use it for hair loss. Finasteride, keep your prostate small. Now we use it for hair loss. The story behind Retin-A is that uh, women mainly were using it for uh, acne and they came to their doctor and said, my wrinkles are better. And then probably the most interesting story of off-label use in dermatology is Botox. So originally Botox was uh, approved for a twitchy eyelid. So I'm sure all of you have had that experience where your eyelid twitches a little bit when you're tired. Well, in some people that twitching can go on for days and days and days, and you can imagine that would be horrific. And so Botox was uh, first used or approved to paralyze that muscle. And so the doctor doing that, a doctor in Canada, see, there's a good reason the Canadians are friends. They found Botox for us. But a doctor in Canada injected for that, and people would come back and say, you know, I'm not twitching, and I look 10 years younger. So anyway, in dermatology, we use things off-label all the time. And so when you come in and you get a prescription from me and you Google it, it may not be for what you thought it was for.